Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be going over the spreadsheet that I use to calculate my monthly solar generation and usage and how much I've saved. So a number of you have been commenting in um, under my videos asking me how I do it. So um, as this month I have moved on to Octopus Flux from a standard British gas tariff, I thought I'd show you what I used to do and what I'm going to be doing now. I should warn you this is a working project and it is a working spreadsheet therefore it's not the tidiest and things again added to it all the time. But before I start um, please hit that subscribe button. I've noticed that about 80% of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed and this means that um, I haven't named to monetize yet, so if you all click subscribe, those annoying adverts that become before my videos, I can't take them away, but at least I will benefit from it. So you can help me out, and it takes a second for you to hit that subscribe button. So please hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's have a look at my spreadsheet. So this is, in the background you can see here, this is what my spreadsheet uh, looks like. Um, I have the date in a column, so this is the date, and I've got one a date for every single day of the year. Um, so there's, you can see along the tabs on the bottom, I've got my different years. Um, this one is slightly different from the previous ones because it's a leap year this year, so it has the 29th of February. So what I used to do when I was with British Gas, I would go on the Solace app, and then um, I would see how much I generate in the day and fill that in this column. So that's in the B column. I'd look at my consumption, which is also my load, and I'll put that in column C. I'd look at how much I exported on the app, how much I imported on the app, fill all those in. I also have um, battery charge and battery discharge, so I would fill those in. And then I'd have my self-use. So when I was British Gas, I only ever charged uh, my battery for my solar, so this Former was basically taking the load and taking away from that my import and my battery charge and um, uh, sorry yeah my battery discharge and that would find my self use which was the energy I was using in real time so it wasn't energy I stored and then used later it was actually the energy I was using in real time so if, again if you've seen my monthly recaps that's what I mean by self use I also had this. Um, smart meter reading. So I used to, used to always read my smart meter at the end of the day and put the value in here. And then this would then be used to calculate my um, money spent on import. And that was done by taking the standing charge, which I've got stored over here. This is this 24p and Z. No, sorry. That's my... Uh, and that was my standing charge, my 24p, and taking that away from my smart uh, input, and that was my money on import. And then I've got this real import number over here, which was then dividing the money on import by my rate that I was paying for my import, which again is over here this time in Y2. Uh, which at the time was about 19p, hiding through, and this was used as a check to compare, um, to make sure the import in my app was the same as my import on my smart meter. And as you can see, it normally tall tallies within a hundredth of a kilowatt hour. Then I had a column called money save. So what this would do, it takes my rate that I was paying for my import, which was... Um, about 19p, which I said is in Y2, and it took away my consumption minus my import. And I took my real import as I think that was the most accurate. And that would then give me the consumption uh, of my actual energy I generated. So that would be my savings. So as you can see on the 1st of January, it was about 38p. I then had a fo formula for money made. This was quite a simple one. It would take the Pay, the, the amount I was paying or getting paid for my seg, which at the time was 15p, and multiplying it by the export. And then I'd have my total, which would go into a formula here. Over here we have a table of all the different months, and then I have my money on import, which was summing 
all my import money, which was generating um, column K, to have my total generation, so it would be some in my um, generation column, total saved, so this was money saved column totaling, money made, so this is totaling all my seg, and then my total money by adding those together. I then have a percentage column, which would take um, the money or the amount that I spent on my import and putting that over the amount I spent on import and the money saved and turning that into a percentage. I looked at my self-use, which was my um, energy that I generated myself and I used. You can see in January, I used 141.2 kilowatts of my own energy, even though, and therefore I um, exported about 54 kilowatt hours. And then I'd have my import this was the total amount I've had to import. And if I added my import and my uh, self-use together, I would get my uh, total energy consumption for um, the month. So this then goes into some graphs, which I've got over here. So this would be my graph of my self-use versus my imports. You've all seen this in my videos. And I've also got this graph which then breaks down the money. So this is money I've saved, money on import, and the money in SEG. I've also got these other graphs that generate for each month below. So I've got my January uh, generation in the blue. So this just tells you how much I've generated each month. So that's from that to column B. And I've got my breakdown, which shows my self-use, my battery discharge, my real import, and my export. And that graph is one that's going to have to change. Finally on this, I've got at the top my total generation. So this just sums all my generation for the year to date. It tells you how much I've spent on import on my year to date. So you can see that in 2024 so far I've spent £45.27p. Uh, my money saved, so this is money that I would have been paying to my energy company if I hadn't had solar panels, which is paying 104p. Uh, then I have my SEG. Adding those together, that's our total money, and then this is summing together to, or my percentage calculation, similar to my percentage before. So that was all fine when I was with British Gas. However, then I'm, at the beginning of uh, April, I moved to Octopus, and pretty instantly I moved to Octopus Flux. And the issue I've got with Octopus, uh, the problem I had to solve for octopus flux is that it's got variable rates throughout the day so in the night so if i'm going to go to this graph um, my import three hours between two and five is 14.71 p during the day i'm paying 24.5 p and for three hours between 4 p.m and 7 p.m i'm paying 34.33 p for my import and also, export changes throughout the day. So for that period during the night, when the uh, import is low, I only get paid 5.32 uh, pence for my uh, export. Um, during the day, I'm getting paid just over 15p. And for those three hours between uh, 4pm and 7pm, I get paid nearly 25p. So this means that I want, to, if I'm importing electricity, I need to import during that low rate, and ideally I'd like to export during that 24.9 uh, 24 pence period. And I certainly don't want to export during the night, which is fine, um, because I tend not to. So, as you'll see when I come to my monthly recap, what I tend to do is just top my battery up to full um, during that period of the night, because I get paid more for export than I do for import. I know there's some uh, losses and efficiency there, so whether that's actually worth it or not is, is negligible, but it's um, probably better than nothing, and it means that the battery is always topped up in case it's a cloudy day and I'm not going to get any generation. So I've got this separate page now, and I've only got this working for April so far, and in here, what I've got is my amount of uh, energy that I import at different times of the day. So these correspond to three different pricing periods. And these sum together to give me my total. And then I've got converting this to cost. So this just multi basically multiplies those columns B, C, and D by the rate for import. I've just shown you um, over, over to the right. 
they sum together to give the total cost and as a sanity check I take the cost off the octopus app per day um, or, and I have to in order to get these figures what I do is I look at how much I've imported during that period during the night I don't import anything during the expensive periods at the moment um, and basically then I look at uh, add all those together so those are those four half an hour section or those 30 minute sections during the night when i'm importing add those together get my import for those and then i work out from the octopus app how much i've and also from my solace app how much i imported it aims tally and that gives me my total import and i can adjust my column c accordingly a similar thing happens with my export, which is over here. Um, so as you see, I'm not exporting during that, so that column is filled in with zeros. Here's um, what I look at is my export during those expensive export periods, so in 24p. Um, so I sum those numbers together and then just put in a figure that makes it up to my export from the Solace app and the Octopus app, so I compare those two. Um, and they are very, very consistent. And then I've got um, effectively how much I make from those. So that's again multiplying those columns K, L, and M by the amount I get for export of those different periods. And then I sum those together in column R. And then I compare it to what the Octopus app says I'm getting paid. And as you can see, something's gone slightly wrong here because I always get paid more than what I think I've generated. And I haven't quite worked out what, why that is yet. So um, it always seems to be about 14p more. So it seems to be one kilowatt hour extra, which is, isn't um, being accounted for. So I have no idea where that's from. And it's something I have to try and investigate. And if I find out, I will tell you. What I've then got is a few more columns and I fill this in from the Solace app. So it's got my battery charge, battery discharge, my total generation and my load. Um, so, um, this is the problem I've got with the Solace app. It doesn't. It only gives my battery charge and battery discharge one significant figure, and there's no decimals, so it's a bit useless. So it's a bit. It doesn't really help. Anyway, if I go back to my 2024 tab and I look through April, what I've started doing here in April. Oh, I should say that my flux tariff only kicked in on the 12th of April. Hence why um, I've only started exporting. Um, or fill in those um, high export columns in from the 12th. Anyway, if you look for what we got now in April, what we've got here is I now take my generation, which I filled in on that previous tab, and that fills, auto fills in because it's an equals um, function. Same for the consumption. The export is taken from the total export in the my 24 octopus tab. Um, and so is my app import. My real import at the moment, I've just set it um, to be the same as what the app is reading. Um, I I'm struggling to get my smart meter to read a value here because for some reason it doesn't work with the flux. It just gives me the price cap rate all the time. So it's impossible to work out how much I've imported at different times. Uh, the battery charging is also taken from that other sheet. The self-use is now effectively a redundant column it's still calculating but it's wrong because remember it used to take into account how much i would export um discharge my battery but now i'm charging my battery from the grid during the night as well as topping it up throughout the day from the solar so this column has to go which means my graphs are going to change so i'll talk more about that in my monthly recap video which will be launched in may and the smart meter readings um Again, these are um, not um, useful anymore because uh, my smart meter isn't reading correctly. Um, I have did try putting some numbers in, and what I've ended up doing now is just um, effectively putting them in as a um, a value, which is my standing charge, which is 61p. Um, so um, that column is also now redundant. Money on import 
So this is money I'm spending on import, and I'm getting that from the Octopus app, hence why it's calculated from the other page. The money saved. Uh, this is effectively um, taking the price cap, because um, that's what I would assume I'd be paying if I didn't have solar panels, because I wouldn't be on flux. Um, and it's multiplying it by my um, energy that I'm using, um, consuming, taking away the energy. Um, so the energy I've used, taking away the um, taking away the amount on import. But because I'm importing at that cheaper rate, I have to account for that extra 10p that I'm saving each time. And this is what this column does. Um, so it effectively uh, takes 10p off all my input prices and then adds them all up. And then that sums, well, I've got my money made, which is still calculating from the other page as well. Um, initially, up until the 12th, it should have been just set to 15p. So there is something a little bit wrong there. So I need to go through and correct that because instead of times by 15p, it should be pulling from the other Page. So, I'm doing this video. I'm picking up errors in my own spreadsheet. Uh, the sum of the money made is the adding of those three columns now. So, it's the money I've saved by calculating my self use from the generation and multiplying that by the price cap. It's the money that I've saved by importing overnight and times it by the 10 pence. And I've got my total, which is also spelled wrong in the top column as well, I've noticed. Um, or the money made, which is my seg, which needs to be corrected. Summing those together, this turns my savings each day. And then finally, I've just got this check column. So when I did move over to Octopus, I wanted to check that my um, amount that I was saving each day by doing this calculation was by doing another calculation which I won't go through here but what this column should be is the same as these two added together so it's the same as L and M added together but it's calculated in a totally different way just to act as a science check and as you can see it's pretty accurate yeah uh, so that's that sheet and then finally I've got a sheet here which then compiles just the information from year on year so it looks at my total generation so that's pulling from that table at the top that I generate uh, the total money saved, my money um, on import, my money on uh, export, looking at efficiencies, which also need to be um, adjusted now as well. So I've still got some work to do. Anyway, as I say, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in another video very soon.